It's 9.30 a.m. and 14-year NBA veteran announcer Bob Lick patiently waits for his game day to begin. First order of business, get an interview with rookie sensation Darren Collison. The player's access is really important to us. And on a day like today, uh, Darren Collison shows up like he normally would for a home shoot-around. And he's carrying the donuts that the rest of the team are going to eat. Here's a guy that might be one of the top five or six rookies in the league this season, yet there's a, there's a different human side. He's still a rookie. He's still the youngest player on the team. He still has to deliver the donuts. After Bob gathers this sound with Darren, he rushes to the court to talk to as many players as he can. And of course, head coach Jeff Bauer. There he is joined by his partner and 22-year NBA veteran, Gil McGregor. I listen to the interviews that the coaches conduct or players conduct to get some idea of what's going on. And I add that to actually a meeting that I've had probably the evening before with our producer, uh, Scooter Schneider, when we talk about what we're going to cover during the games. There are themes, there are stories, there are ideas that we have. And I take those as my, I suppose, borders. And then I come to shoot around so I can fill in the blanks. After shoot around, Bob and Gill head back to the office to do a little paperwork in preparation for tonight's matchup against the Celtics. For a game like against the Boston Celtics, we played them once. I go back and get the old box score. I get Boston's last box score against who they played against. I get the Hornets' last box score against the team they played against. And I try to look for trends. I try to look for insight into something that may not be so obvious. I do an individual chart for each team. Uh, these would be a spotter chart. It lists all the players for each team, um, all the statistics that I could possibly need during the course of a broadcast. They are all compiled on their individual sheets. While Bob and Gil prepare for the game at their desks, the production crew prepare as well. CST broadcasts originate from a mobile television truck outside the arena. And inside that truck, producer and 20-year TV veteran Scott Snyder is hard at work communicating the game plan for tonight's right, we need broadcast. A long scenic for 115A. It's got to be. Our crew consists of about 20 to 25 people per game. That includes camera, cameras, audio, producer, director, announcers, etc. So I am basically the head coach of the broadcast. Most of my work actually comes before I step on the truck. So coming into the truck, we already have the uh, schedule. The more prepared you are, the more likely you are to have a good broadcast. Which is something we here at Cox Sports Television pride ourselves on. Here we go in three, two, one, roll red. Scott red. Snyder and director Gary Kirby right, then begin a process known as pre-production. The pre-production process is one where we're adding graphics and uh, adding music to pre-produced elements that run both in the pre-game show as well as the game. Wow. From pre-production, Scott step heads step to a 4.30 dinner meeting with the talent to make sure everyone is on the same page going into tonight's broadcast. Once the meeting ends, the talent hustles to the floor to look over pre-produced video clips, which will be used in tonight's broadcasts. And now it's time to go from preparation to anticipation. Nothing left to do but wait. Everyone senses that the day is just beginning. As I get towards uh, opening tip, I think I'm like the players and like the coaches and like the fans. I think the pulse starts to, starts to go a little faster. I think the heartbeat goes a, a little greater. So to me, it's a process that builds up from the time I wake up early in the morning. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, roll red and music, go. One of the best things about being in television is that um, your job is different every day in the sense that you don't know what's going to happen. And that provides the nervous energy going into a game. Um, it's because you have to expect the unexpected. The human element of, of live TV always supersedes what you've laid down on paper. And that's what makes it exciting and that's what keeps it on your toes. And that's what we hope keeps our fans watching Hornets basketball. 